Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Genesis chapter 27. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim with age, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here am I. He said, Behold now, I am old. I know not the days of my death. True, we don't know. He's getting old age. He's like, Alright, oh, hey, I better start settling the house and getting things done. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, which holds arrows, and thy bow, and go out in the field, and take me some venison. That's that love again. The love of food, the love of the belly. And make me savory meat, such as I love. <laughs> that was in 2131, I believe. No. Take that back. This is the first place that love shows up in the Bible. And the wrong note there. Isn't that interesting? God is love. I love you. Love in the songs. Love in the Hollywood. And the first place that love shows up is I want me that I love. 27 chapters and three, four verses. And we see the word love. And bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. Now look at the firstborn blessing. It comes at the end of the petition. The food that I love and all comes first. And nowhere does it say that, you know, a son's prepare a meal to get the blessing. That should be the first thing. 25 verse 27 to 34. So we know that Isaac does not know anything about Esau selling that birthright. Because he would not call Esau in and, well, I'll give you this birthright if you give me a meal. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spanked to Esau his son. Now why doesn't it say their son? Because Rebekah loved Jacob and Isaac loved Esau. What? You said love there? Love. Probably the one that that showed me this note. Probably just L O V E. Regular. I, that's probably one of my things I learned in the classes. So. Rebekah heard that Isaac spoke to Esau, his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. So it's going to take some time. He's got to get his weapon tree all ready. He's got to go out and find it. And he's got to kill it. And he's got to, you know, cook it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob, her son. So Esau is Isaac's son. And Jacob is Rebekah's son, even though they're both the parents of these two boys. This family is divided by favorites. That's that's trouble right there. And Rebecca spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat, that I may eat and bless thee before the before the Lord before my death. Now, does Rebecca know? That Jacob sold, I mean Esau sold the birthright to Jacob. 
And the thing is, if she knew, we don't know if she knew, doesn't say, then she's doing a Sarah. Here, take my Hagar to, to have a child that God promised you. The promise is upon Jacob to receive that blessing because God is honored that Esau, you didn't want it, you despised it. Now, had this not happened, this deceiving of Isaac, God would surely would have stepped in and gave that firstborn right to Jacob. How? It's not recorded because Rebecca steps in. She steps over her husband's authority. And it causes a mess. And because of this, what happens in this event, in this chapter, the Edomites hate Israel for the rest of their lives. Now therefore, now watch, my son, the pronouns, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Now you do what I tell you to do, son. What we're going to do is we're going to deceive your father. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of goat of the goats. Again, I told you, venison is flesh of any beast of game. Only in the United States is it deer. And she's telling them to go out in the flocks. You don't go out and hunt for game flocks. You go out there, grab the one you want, and do what you need to do. Abraham went out and, cho and chose the, the, the calf. And it to the servants, and they, you know, dressed it and everything. And I will make them savory meat, the, the goats, for thy father, such as he loveth. So she knows how he likes it. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut ahead, and you're going to come in before Esau. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. So Esau is still this, this, this hairy, this wild man of hair. Jacob, he's clean, not that hairy. My father, preventure, will feel me. And I shall seem to him as a deceiver, which he would be. And I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. Listen, if dad finds out, mom, it's going to turn to a curse. We're deceiving him. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice and go fetch me now. And after this chapter, after Jacob is sent off to find a wife, Rebecca never sees her boy again. She dies before Jacob comes back. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother. Well, he's obedient to her. And his mother made savory meat such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son, Esau, which were with her in the house. So she's got some of his clothes in her tent. And put them upon Jacob, her younger brother. You got Halloween. Dress up the boy and have him, well, as we've heard, he's bringing meat to the people. You've got Hollywood. He's dressing up to be somebody who he's not. You've got skits. This skit, to take a boy, we don't know how old he is, but take a boy, dress him up, and have him prepared to be who he is not to deceive his parents. So when you got a skit and all the parents come, oh, isn't it great that my junior is Joseph or my junior is Moses or my junior is Jesus, you're deceiving the parents just as Rebecca and Jacob did. Jacob should have walked in that room, say, hi, Dad. 
Who's that? It's Jacob. Well, what are you doing here? I gotta tell you something. I got some meat for you. Mom made it, but I gotta tell you something about what happened a little while ago with a pot of beans. But he doesn't tell the truth. Why are you against skits and all that? Because the same thing as Hollywood, just another name. So, now watch this. She put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands. That is how hairy Esau is. His hands are hairy. If you've ever petted a goat before, it's rough. And upon the smooth of his neck, and all around his neck, Esau is as hairy and as rough hairy as a goat. Which was also the dinner. So he took the he, he he prepared the candy, took the wrappers, and put it on his body. Halloween tree. It's not a tree, though. It's got food. It's a trick for Daddy. It's a trick or tree dressing up. There it is. And Mama did it. Mama made the costume. Can't you read the Bible and do right? churches and she gave the savory meat and the bread and she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob now this is the almost as the beans and the bread but it's reverse Jacob before long when we get with to the end of his life he's going to be God is not deceived whatsoever a man soweth that he's also going to reap. And he came unto his father, and he said, My father, he said, Here I am, who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, Lie number one. I am that I am Esau thy firstborn. That will come back to haunt him. I have done according as thou badest me. Well, you wait. You, no one told you nothing but your mother. You liar. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. Okay, well, he gets the right. And Isaac said unto his son, Doubt number one. How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? That was quick. And he said, now watch this. Lie number two. Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. You know that shows you right there, that lie? I wet my throat. Anybody can say anything in the name of God. God brought it to me. Really? Your mother's God? You got a Catholic religion there if your mother's God. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee. Doubt number two, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him. He said, The voice is Jacob's voice. But the hands are the hands of Esau, that hairy beast. Good thing he put, had the Halloween costume. Good thing he had the, the raiment of his brother to smell like the fields. And he discerned him not because his hands were hairy. As his brother's hands. So he blessed him. Now that's not the blessing blessing. That's okay, son. He said, Art thou very my son Esau? Doubt number three or four. And he said, I am, liar. He said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, and my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Now at this moment, you know what you know what Jacob's thinking. He's got an elderly father who can't see very well. Come on, Dad, hurry up and eat that. Come on, Dad. Because he knows Esau's coming. But when? And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, 
and kissed me, my son. And he came near and kissed him and smelled the smell of his raiment, doubt number four. And blessed him and, and said, See, the, son, the smell of my son is in the smell of the field, which the Lord has blessed. No, that's the, it's Esau's clothing. Therefore, now here comes the blessing. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven, that, that pure liquid of the morning, and the fattest of the earth, crops, and plenty of corn and wine, wheat and grapes. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, Esau. And let thy mother's sons, Esau, bow down to thee. Here we go. Curse be everyone that curses thee, and bless he that blesses thee. That's that blessing was passed to Abraham, that was passed on to Isaac, and is now passed on to Jacob. There is no Esau, and there's no Ishmael. Genesis 12, 3. And it came to pass... As soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, Jacob was yet scarce going out from the presence of Isaac, his father. <laughs> He's getting out of there. That Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. Now, you wonder if God held off Esau. What work did God have in this? I mean, this is all a lie. But Esau is not entitled to this blessing. He had his beans. Now it's a has been. And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of eating, blessed Jacob. And Jacob was scarce gone from the presence of Isaac his father. That Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also had made savory meat. And brought it unto his father and said unto his father. Let my father arise and eat of his son's venison, that my that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac's father said unto him, Who art thou? He said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. Correct. Isaac trembled very exceedingly. He said, Who? This is how important that blessing is. I just did what well, as far as what Isaac's thinking, he didn't know. I just gave the wrong blessing to the wrong son. I'm in trouble with God. But he doesn't know nothing. Who? Where is he that has taken venison and brought it to me, brought it me, and I have eaten of all before thou camest, and I have blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. It cannot be reversed. It cannot be undone. Remember when God blessed the three sons of Noah? And yet he could not curse Ham? He had to curse Canaan? And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceedingly bitter cry. Too late. This is where Hebrews 12, 16, 17, he went and, and wept. And said, and Father, bless me, even me, even me also, O oh, my father. And he said, Thy brother came in subtility, and has taken away thy blessing. <laughs> you know how fine line that verse is right there? Yes, he did, but no, he didn't. Because, again, Esau sold that birthright. Isaac didn't know, but... Mom played Happy Halloween. He sold his birthright. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob, which means Sir Planter? For he has sub supplanted me these two times. Lie. He took away my birthright. Lie. And behold, now he has taken away my blessing. No. But he's starting to spill the truth before Isaac. 
Isaac is hearing something he hasn't heard before. What's going on here? He didn't take away your birthright. You sold it. And the blessing went to him. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? How can he reserve when he doesn't know what's going on? Can I have a secondary blessing? No, you sold it out. You gave it up. And there are going to be people who are going to stand before God, the great white throne judge. Well, can't I just have one more chance? And Jesus is going to say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But I'm not your firstborn. Am I not done this? Have I not? Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, which is his favorite love son. He's going to come up with something. Behold, I have made him thy Lord, firstborn right, Jacob. And all his brethren, which we know are going to be 12 of them, have I given to him for servants, his family. And with corn and wine, the main crops of the area, have I sustained him. And what shall I do now with thee, my son? I gave the blessing to your, your brother. And Esau said to his father, Has thou but one blessing? Come on, reserve for me a brush. Isn't there one blessing, Dad? My father. Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He weeps because he lost the advantage. Hebrews 12, 17, For no way to change his mind through he sought it carefully with tears. His father could not undo what just happened. He could not undo, buy back. He could not redeem that, that blessing of the firstborn child. He had to enjoy his beans. And now, by verse 37, now Esau knows what the value of that birthright is. Everything now belongs to Jacob. Esau wasn't thinking about that before. And one thing is not told Esau to Jacob and to Esau. You are now in the line of the Lord Jesus Christ. Esau is not. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, and you go right to Jesus Christ. And Isaac's father answered and said unto him, Behold thy dwelling. Now he comes up with this. It's not the first. It comes up with a secondary reserve. Because he loves his son. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, crops, and the dew of the heaven from above. Okay, that's kind of what he blessed to, to Jacob. By thy sword shalt thou live, war, and shall serve thy brother. Your brother is going to be over you. And it shall come to pass when thou have the dominion. That thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that happens in 1 Kings 22. When Esau breaks away from his brother. Okay. That's it. That is what the, the words of the sons. The last words to Esau and Jacob. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein with his father blessed him. Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. He wants his father dead now. Jacob's going to, I mean, Isaac's going to live a little longer. Esau wants him dead now. When I will slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. Wait a minute. It said in his heart. Who could, who could have told Rebekah what Esau said inside of his heart? God. God is now protecting that firstborn son. The right thereof. Jacob. Uh, Rebecca, your son there wants to kill Jacob. He's you know, and he won't say this to Rebecca, but he's protected. I can't allow this. 
I hate Esau. See why God hates him? He wants Isaac dead, and he wants Jacob dead. I love, and, he's, and God says so much, I love Jacob, but Esau have I hated. I thought he was in tears. And these words of Esau, her, her eldest son, were told to Rebecca, and it only could be God. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, does comfort himself for purposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. Wait a minute, Mom, this is why we're in trouble right now. You got me in this mess. Obey my voice and arise flee thou to laban my brother to haran now we're going to go back we're going to get a bride for jacob out of the family now when we get to laban you're going to see that Re rebecca is part of that family because laban pulls the same stuff rebecca does working in community Laban is going to deceive Jacob ten times out of Jacob's mouth of his labor. Their brother and sister. So these two are alike. And poor Jacob gets the, the, the bad part of the stick. Now he's got to leave his house. When he gets to meet Laban, he's going to, I forget how many years. He, wants to work, he works seven years for Rachel, but he ends up with Leah. But that's because... The firstborn, right? He's going to reap and sow, but poor Jacob. He's going to learn his lesson by the end, and it's going to take almost the end of his life. <clears throat> and tarry with him a few days. A few days? Over 14 years. At least for the two women. Why? Unto thy brother's fury turn away, and it will never turn away, Obadiah. Unto thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done. How can you forget you, everything is no longer yours? How can you forget that? How can you look at your father's camels, your father's sheep, your father's goats, your father's tents, your father's wealth, and look at that and say, that's not mine. And then have God say, hey, Esau, yeah, we're having dinner. What are we having? We're having beans. Oh, I bet you he never had a beat plate of beans again. Be careful what you sell out. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? God's going to tell Jacob, okay, time to go home. Rebecca dies. And Rebecca said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such of these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? And she's like, out of this whole big commotion, her last words in the chapter, I don't want to have a mixed marriage. And Isaac is left like, what just happened here? How did I get the wrong son? How did the wrong son act, smell, and feel like the other son? And Rebecca goes, I, I think I think Jacob should find a better wife. I think we should send him away. That's kind of interesting. 